Hey everybody, it's Wick here. I should be mowing the grass right now, but instead I'm going to go sourcing an hour away. I'm going to hit a couple lows because over the past week it's just been crazy. I'm sure the clearance is dying down. But you know, I got FOMO, fear of missing out. I have to go check these lows and see if there's anything left um, at this lows clearance event that's been going on. It's been amazing. I've probably made over 5000 I want to say. Um, I, was, I know I spent over $2,000 and usually I either double or triple my money. So um, it's hard to say how much I've, I'm really going to make in the end. Uh, your prices change, but I'm going to go out hit these lows and probably a couple other spots and see if I can't add to the treasure pile. First lows was a success. Not a whole lot in the last lows, but still make over $100, so I'll take it. Stopped in Goodwill. Unfortunately, there was nothing in there for me. I think I'll swing over to Walmart. Haven't checked this one in a month or more, so maybe there's some good clearance there. So just got out of this Walmart, and there was hardly any clearance. There wasn't even a clearance aisle that I could find. I walked everywhere. Uh, Walmart's been aggressively moving clearance this year compared to previous years. Uh, this time of year is when they always mark stuff down, but uh, usually it sits at higher prices. This year it became clearance, and within like two or three weeks it was just marked aggressively down, and the stuff disappeared. So uh, something to keep in mind maybe for next year, and I feel like Lowe's is doing the same thing, maybe some other stores. But I did pick up something in there, some Mambos, from Mambas, and uh, <laughs> candy corn. Um, you know, just to be unhealthy, it looked good, and I'm actually hungry, and I'm going to try to get home and mow the grass, I think, and then get this load in the garage, and I'll show you what I found, but that's pretty much it for sourcing today. Um, I've hit almost all the lows now that I typically hit in the area in every direction. There's a, there is a couple more that are pretty far away I may hit. It's just that I got so much stuff and I really, it's the time of year I got to start getting my Christmas stuff ready. I just need to be working for the next two or three weeks, probably the next month and not concentrate on sourcing, just uh, maybe local Goodwills and stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and head home and try to get this grass mowed and eat. So I got an FBA shipment ready. Uh, three boxes here. Uh, this is actually the weed trimmers I got the other day. Uh, these three of them in there, I just used two of the eBay boxes I got that have the bubble wrap I I get for my free supplies from eBay. So I just kind of Frankenstein that box together. I'll ship all three in. They're actually selling for about $60 on Amazon, so it's worth it. I think this box here costs uh, about 10 bucks to ship in, so definitely worth it. And then just a couple smaller boxes actually one big box because it has a couple big items in it but um pretty tired so i think i'm going to relax the rest of the day had some great finds and a good day overall and <laughs> always love when the the good days happen when you're reselling because sometimes it's just bad days but uh, i feel like there's more good days than bad days So, uh, here's the haul. It's the next day. I'm getting ready to go to Salvation Army, Goodwill. A couple Goodwills, drop off a FBA shipment. But I want to show you what I got yesterday. Uh, first of all, these speakers. Uh, I believe I make $45 a piece. Actually, I don't know. I think it was more like 40 Pay 30 make 40 Um, maybe it was... No, no, no. <laughs> I'm confusing the items. I got so much stuff. I paid $17 for these. So I'm going to make about, yeah, about $40 a piece on these. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. 
and went to one store and there's a couple of them in top stock and just because I've been seeing this stuff I noticed them up there and had somebody get them down because I knew what the price was going to be so knowledge is power so uh, the new stuff is mixed in with the old stuff from last week I got these Black & Decker uh, Leaf Collection System 749 was $42.98 so pretty good discount they only sell for about 30 on Amazon though so I'll make $10 a piece it is fall coming up so it'll be leaf season maybe the price will go up but 30 bucks there so not bad more of these Hitachi Sanders um, like I've said before these are $59.99 marked down to 13 couldn't just leave them there I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to move them but I got them. I got some more of these timers because why not? There's a box there. Box right there. And I got these wheelies. Um, I've sold these in the past. They've been clearanced. The interesting thing is I actually need to check the receipt because there was this price here for $5.25 that was $30. But uh, yeah, here's the price. Another price on this one for $10.49. I looked it up on the Lowe's app and it was $10.49. But I... Uh, it's still worth it because you still make twenty dollars. You sell for over forty dollars on Amazon with a great rank. So surprising that these bling for your lawnmower sell so well, but they do. Uh, but when I paid for them, she I think she typed in five twenty five. It seemed like I seen her do that because I think she's seen the tag. So uh, may have got those for five bucks, which means I'll make uh, about fifty dollars instead of forty. So those should sell really quick. I also got these, uh, more of these. There's uh, three more. Make about $12, $15 on these. I can't remember exactly, but they should sell pretty well. Here's the Porter Cable uh, saws I got. These, I'm going to get two, four, six, or two, four, six, seven of them. Uh, these were normally $129.99, marked down to $32.75. Uh, this may have been a kind of a bad buy because I mean they're just saturated right now right there's there's people selling them for like 50 60 bucks um, on Amazon I believe it's like $75 so you make like maybe 20 bucks after fees so hopefully you know once everybody else sells theirs out tools aren't gonna really go out of style people are always gonna need tools Hopefully, you know, I can get at least double my money on these, but I just couldn't leave them there at that kind of discount, them being tools. Uh, I don't know, you know, it was probably a slow mover for me. And, I, and I'm not going to lose money, like, surely I could sell these locally or get my thirty-two seventy-five back for a $130 tool. Uh, just what I think anyway. So, uh, definitely a uh, few hundred, I think over $500 at those two lows. Probably more than that, honestly. If I get... $10 a piece on those uh, light countdown timers. It's probably a couple hundred dollars there. Uh, saws, just, I don't know. Yeah, probably five, six hundred dollars. But overall, this week at Lowe's so far, um, it's got to be thousands of dollars profit. I'm thinking over five thousand dollars profit I should make after all these sell. Because look at all the, the hammers I got. Uh, making fifteen dollars a piece estimated on those there's four more of those speakers um lights all these i'm making i believe 45 a piece on more saws it's just it's just so much good stuff i got and that's what i'm going to do right now before the thrift store is open i'm going to start getting some of this stuff ready to send to fba that makes sense uh when it gets closer to christmas i'll send a huge amount of it in uh, and just try to move it uh, so let me get started doing that. I'm at UPS, just dropped off my shipment. Out of breath because I'm out of shape. I gotta, not doing a lot of physical work and reselling. I gotta figure out a way to be more active. But I picked up this in Salvation Army. Uh, it's just a chess set, an old electronic one. I just kind of looked, I wasn't even gonna look it up, and I did. It seems to be selling anywhere from 25 to $50. There's even one. That sold for 80 something but I believe a best offer was taken on that I can't remember exactly either way I, t I opened the bag took all the pieces out and everything was there 
no idea if it will work no idea um, how well it's going to sell it looks like it's a pretty good seller pretty sought after fidelity electronics is the name um, but yeah we'll see how that does uh, also picked up this air pump and goodwill picked up that because i went to actually buy one yes well, i didn't go to buy i was going to buy one yesterday uh, and the shelf was empty so luckily i didn't you know get one at walmart because i would have spent probably 10 15 bucks and ended up getting this one for four dollars so definitely uh happy about that it's a great thing about going out thrifting you never know you're always finding stuff you, you can use and actually save yourself some money i found some stuff in the last goodwill i stopped in making this a pretty decent day for uh thrifting since i wasn't really on a thrifting trip just hitting local places uh first thing here is this playstation 2 memory card it's an off-brand 16 megabyte but it's sealed. It was $4. Uh, should be able to get $25 for this. Uh, probably sell it on Amazon. Uh, but th this will definitely sell. So I'll make some money there. You've seen the chest set. Uh, picked out these California raisins. They are absolutely in mint condition. And uh, you're not going to be able to see. But they are vintage. Um, 1987 was the date. I don't know how much these are worth. I know not a whole lot, but with them being this clean and the set of four, I'm hoping at, at least to be able to sell them for 20. They'll ship cheap. Uh, we'll see though. Might get less. I should make money on them though. If not, and I'm happy keeping them. They were $1.99 in this bag. Here's a trivia box for Anarchy, uh, Sons of Anarchy. This was two bucks and you're only going to make $3 profit on this in the end, but it, it should sell. It's like a 90,000 rank in toys. And I figure, hey, I'm more than double my money. Why not? You know, super light. It'll go in an Amazon shipment, no problem, and just go ahead and pick up $3. Nothing wrong with selling smalls like that. That stuff adds up over the year. This was interesting. This is in a, one of the bags for $2.99. It is a Gigapets. These are worth picking up. Uh, if you see just the keychain ones, they can go upwards to sixty dollars. Uh, just depends on which one they, which one it is. And this one I never seen before because it has a controller that you plug into the TV, like a plug and play, and you put the cartridge in here. It flips up. So I imagine you play it on your TV with your pet, and then when you want to take it on the go, you got the keychain. This try to get it in the light. This thing is a little beat up, the chip in there, so I'm kind of questioning if this part will work. But I did see a controller sold for over $25 on an auction. So if both these work, I don't know how much I'll get. Maybe upwards to 40 bucks. It seems like I've seen a new one for $50 that sold. So I don't know. I just know there there is some money there. I paid $3 for it if I didn't mention that. But I don't know. Let's say like $15, $20 on there, $10, $25. Maybe 20 on there, 40, uh, 15 on there, 60, maybe $60 should be easy stuff to sell to. It's a little bit of work to test it and get it cleaned up and listed, but you know, you probably do all that in an hour. So I don't know, 60 bucks. I'm happy with that. Some of this may even be more. So who knows? I think that's going to do it for the video today. It's probably going to be a short one, but I'm just going to be getting stuff ready for Amazon the rest of the day. Uh, no more sourcing, nothing really exciting I'm gonna be doing. It's just that I have a lot of work to do and the fun part is sourcing. Uh, the, the hard part is uh, doing all the work, but I'm gonna to have to just strap down the next couple weeks and get a lot done. And then actually within the next month, just for Christmas, get a lot done. So I appreciate you watching the videos. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Feel free to hit the subscribe button as well so you can keep seeing all this amazing junk I keep finding. But this has been Wick. Till next time.